three different elbow flexors. Do you remember which ones they are that we we had three different ones that flex the elbow in different positions? Biceps brachii, brachialis, brachioradialis. So biceps brachii runs, has two heads, runs the entire length of the arm. Underneath that is the brachialis. And lateral to that, over here, that runs all the way down to the radial styloid is the brachioradialis, okay? So the test is the same for all three. You just alter the hand um, pronation supination, okay? So because the biceps brachii is also a supinator, we test biceps brachii with the, the hand forearm supinator. So the test movement is, can you bring your hand towards your shoulder? So she can go full range and back down, okay? Biceps brachii is a two joint muscle. Part of it is, part of it is, well, I guess it all is to some degree. So we're gonna test it in, just from full flexion, okay? So right about there, we're going to take her out of that. You don't want to test at the very end range, so right about here. And I'm going to be on this side of her. Where am I going to stabilize? Shoulder. Shoulder or humerus, okay? And then I'm going to be pulling down, trying to extend the arm, right? So hold this position and don't move. Okay, good. Pretty simple, okay? Brachioradialis is going to be with the thumb pointed up. Okay, so the radial side is up. So, can you bring your thumb towards your shoulder? Good, back down. Okay, let's go up again. I'm going to apply some resistance. Come out there just a little bit. Hold this position and don't even move it. Shoulder, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. She's down. Five over five. Okay, palm down. Going to be brachialis. Okay, so bring the back of your hand up towards your shoulder as far as you can. Good, and back down. Okay, let's go up again. Come out of that just a little bit towards me, a little bit more right there. Hold that position and don't move you. Again, I'm stabilizing. Hold, 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 hold. hold. No. Now that one's not a five. I don't need to crank her all the way down. As soon as she starts to give. I'm going to be okay with that and just call it there. But if I keep fighting her, she can get a strain injury, right? So she held against moderate to maximal pressure, so that's a four plus. Okay? Stop there.